Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It's free for you guys to do and it really, really helps out the channel a lot. Also, if there are any other videos that you would like us to make, go into detail about, have any questions, make sure you guys leave that in a comment below. <laughs> So today's video is, it's gonna be a multiple part series that we've come up with. It is five tips for a great time at the Swingers Club. We feel like over the years we've accumulated a lot of different things that have really helped us out and made our times way more fun at Lifestyle Clubs. This will be part one of this series and so we are gonna give you five tips for you to have a great time at the Swingers Club. The first tip is to arrive early, especially if you're new to the club. It's your first time there and you wanna get a tour, maybe get your groundings and everything. We recommend to get there early. You can get there right when the club opens. It depends on the each club. Usually it's around eight o'clock or nine o'clock depending on the club if there's like a trapeze in Atlanta and Florida they do have dinner there and so you can get there early make it a nice date night with just you and your partner get some good food find your groundings set your drinks up wherever you want to sit and so then you are set up and ready to go we really like getting there a little bit early especially when we're newer because it lets you really find your groundings and really feel comfortable because if you walk into a club that's full of people and it's your first time there it can feel very overwhelming but when the club's first open it's usually pretty quiet not a lot of people there so you can have a drink kind of get acclimated to the, the new environment and so getting there early if you're new is definitely a pro tip also, you're able to get to see other people come in. So what we like to do a lot whenever we get to a club is kind of just sit kind of like in the close to the front whenever you can see people coming in. You can look at people's outfits and you can be yeah. like, oh my gosh, like they look so fun. We want to meet them kind of like that. Yeah, it's fun to people watch at clubs for sure. So get there early, get a good spot. The next tip is to have a swingers bag. So we have a really cute pineapple I'll put a backpack. picture of it in right here so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> we got it from Target and it's insulated. And so you can have your drinks in there um, if you're new to lifestyle clubs in general a majority of them are bring your own alcohol so you can put your alcohol in there if you already have like your mixed drink that you want to bring we usually have it in some type of tumbler or something like that and so we can put that in there we also recommend to have some type of small bag if you're planning on going into the playrooms that has you know protection in there maybe lube or maybe a little toy whatever you want to bring in or there a big toy whatever yeah. toy, whatever you want to bring in there <laughs> but having a bag that's easily accessible to where if you're going and you know like hey this is my swingers bag and everything is already in there wipes stuff like that we can go into a different video too we, we can make a whole video yeah. about what's in our swingers bag because we put a lot of different stuff in there over the years it's kept adding and adding like yeah. little things to help here and there so we could definitely make a full video too if you guys want to see comment below if you guys want to see a full tour of our swingers bag what's in our swingers bag it's like those uh, vanity fair videos and stuff like, what's, <laughs> what's in our, in my makeup bag? What's in our <laughs> swingers bag uh, so we can make one of those having a bag and then you know whenever we're going to the club we keep it in a certain spot we just move what we need we grab our bag we're ready to go and it has everything and that way you never forget something you're like oh no I forgot my lube or oh no I forgot you always have it and so it just makes it really convenient especially if you know maybe it takes a little bit longer to get your outfit ready that night and you're leaving late but you have your bag convenient, so definitely a pro tip there too. The next tip is to wear something that makes you feel sexy and confident, but also somewhat comfortable. So the worst thing I feel like you can do is go and then wear like really, really cute, but uncomfortable shoes because it's not gonna make the night very fun, If especially if you wanna dance. You don't wanna be trying to find a place to sit all the time just because of your shoes, I promise. Or even if you wanna bring your really cute shoes wear them for a little bit get a picture in them and then change into something more comfortable you can definitely do that we also have friends that will bring multiple different outfits especially the women maybe one that's a little bit more revealing less revealing, like different levels basically because you never know how the night's gonna go maybe everyone is dressing super sexy that night or maybe people will be a little bit more reserved that night and so having multiple different outfits if you're a little bit uncomfortable could also make you feel way more confident because then you have different choices and you're gonna know hey I'm feeling good in this, but maybe later on the night I can change to this one. You can always change back. So having multiple different outfits, I think can make it a little bit more 
comfortable, especially when you're newer, so you can make sure you're feeling confident in whatever the environment has that night. Don't think too much into it though. The thing is, wear whatever you wanna wear. You're gonna walk into a club, you're gonna see, like if you're a woman, you're gonna see women in just club wear, cute dresses, you're gonna see women in lingerie. Do not feel like you have to be changing into lingerie at the end of the night. It's just whatever makes you feel comfortable. But if you want to have those options, you can definitely do that. And I can say from experience, I just end up wearing the same shoes every time that I go that are just these like booties that are comfortable and they're just black and they not don't necessarily go with every outfit but it has never strayed people away from wanting to be our friend or anything so take it from experience I just think be comfortable and cute rather than wearing something really really cute but really really uncomfortable <laughs> tip number four is putting yourself out there and just going up and making friends now obviously you do not have to do this if you're more reserved and you like just being with your partner you like not talking you do not have to do this but from our experience going out and trying to make friends and being the person who was going up and saying hello because you can't always expect people to just come say hello to you. So if you want to have the best time from our personal experiences, it's always been when we've gone and made the effort just to talk to people. So we'll talk to so many different people just so we can make as many friends as possible and that has made our lifestyle journey so much more fun. We speak from experience, we used to be the people that sat there in the corner and we just hung out to ourselves which is a really fun time to meet so many amazing people and it's just really really great i know it's difficult at the beginning sometimes to put yourself out there if you watch our videos before the star podcast i'm sure you've heard me say this but i always say one of the best things i've ever heard if you're more of a shy person is to walk in you know whether it's at a club or whatever and say hello to the first person you see just to break the ice you can say i like your shirt i like your shoes whatever it is and you have to do it to the very first person and the more and more you do that the easier and easier it gets to talk to people because once you break the ice once, it just gets easier and easier and easier with every person. So that will make your journey way more fun and way better in our opinion. And the more people that you talk to, the more groups of friends that you're gonna have. So maybe yes. you talk to somebody who's not with a group of friends, but they invite you and you become part of their group of friends. And so then you can make a lot of friends that way too. And I feel like that has been, that's something that I wish we would have done more since the beginning. We've been in it for eight years now. It's not something we started maybe only until about a year ago so the fifth tip for this video is to go onto the website and read you know the dress code and all the rules that are going on at that club most of them are gonna be pretty similar and you know you should be okay to get in with most things but make sure to read what that club's rules are I've you know Colette doesn't allow shorts so if you show up even if they're really nice shorts you're not gonna get in and if it's one of your first times the worst thing in the world in our opinion would be to get there and then you're about to go in you're so excited and you have to you know drive back home and you lose an hour of time or whatever it is so and different clubs have different rules so make sure you're just aware of that club's rules that club's dress code so that you are following all the rules and that way whenever you get there you don't have to worry about if you're gonna get in or not or anything like that and we just think that that makes it so much more comfortable and so much better so especially if it's your first time there and I mean we do that whenever we go to a new club if we've never been there before we'll look and just make sure that we're in compliance with everything that, that club requires and we just think that makes it way less stressful and way more fun sometimes you can also even do the memberships in advance they'll put that in the rules too most of the clubs you need to be a member to be a part of it so maybe you could fill out the application before and so that's going to make your night smoother as well. So that is the first part of this video. That's five ways to really help you have a great time at the Swingers Club. We hope that helped. If you guys have any questions about anything, make sure to comment down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, so it's free to you. It really helps us out. It helps the channel, and we really appreciate it. So we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!